Hey everybody, this is Rory again from RoryCodes.com and it's Tasker Tip Tuesdays. Quick tips to help grow your Tasker knowledge. This week I want to talk about directory monitoring or commonly known as folder watching. Now Tasker does have this functionality natively, however it's not as intuitive to get to as you may think. So if you want to learn how to monitor a directory for specific file events such as uh, adding a file or deleting a file in a specific folder. I'll show you how to do it first. Then I'll give you a quick example of passing a local built-in variable to show you what that folder path is. But before we begin, guys, if this is your first time on the channel, hit that subscribe button if you want to be notified of new Tasker Tip Tuesday videos or other Tasker related videos. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to leave a comment, share it with a friend. Any of those things are greatly appreciated, guys. And it lets me know that, that at least somebody's watching and that you guys want a little bit more. All right, so if you're ready to learn some of this, let's get started. So if I open Tasker, I've got the file modified uh, profile context, which is, like I said, not as intuitive, but that's what you would use for uh, directory monitoring. So I'll show you, instead of selecting a file, what you would do is you would long press on a folder, and that's how you would get this folder. Now, this is in the root directory, that's, which is why you only see the, the name of the folder, test folder, or I'm sorry, test underscore folder. What you would do in this case is you would hit the magnifying glass icon, search for the folder, and good thing this is working with my mouse. I'll use my finger long press and there's the folder so that's how you would create the profile context for folder watching now to give you an example of how to trigger this i'm going to leave this flash action open for file modified all right save this and i will back out of tasker and i'll just move a dummy file into the folder test folder i'll paste and that's just from the ea apps and then here you go file modified that is the flash action that showed me that the task i'm sorry the profile executed so going back now i'll now i will disable these and i'll show you a quick example and just to give you an idea of what I'm doing, uh, if you've watched one of my previous videos you uh, on uh, local Tasker's local built-in variables, you'll see that the event parameter is one of them. It's an array that uh, is passed on to the enter tasks of certain profiles. In this case, for the file modified profile context, event parameter array only returns one item. And that is the URI of the folder that you're watching or you're monitoring. So I'll flash, I'll do a double flash just so you can get a good look at what the event parameter local built-in variable is. Then I'll do a search and replace and basically remove this section of that, uh, of that um, event parameter array, which is the, the, first, the first element of that array. And from there, I'll use that as a list files action for the, la the modified date and the variable, variable array will be file. And then I'll just flash that and that should give me the file path of the latest modified file. Alrighty, I'll save it one more time. Go back. And this time let's use text file one. So I'll copy it, open up test folder, paste it, and watch very carefully at the bottom of the screen. Don't worry about that one. Here we go, event parameter, file, storage, emulated zero, test folder. This is event parameter. Now, after a search and replace, this is what was left from the file. There you go. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video what you see give it a thumbs up share it with a friend leave a comment 
Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to the channel. Until the next Tasker Tip Tuesday. See you guys.